All right, gang, welcome to setting up Visual Studio Code for C++. If you're in my uh, ITP 165 class, and many of us have been struggling with this, uh, or just if you are out there somewhere watching this because you're struggling with it, I sympathize. This has been really hard. I think I've got it now, though. So let's go through the steps. First of all, I'm on this web page right here. This is what I'm following. I will link that down in the description. So this is the main part of my guide that I'm going with, but honestly, it's not perfect. I'm going to assume you've found this much and you have installed Visual Studio Code so far. We need to install the extensions. And I think most of you found that on your own too. But let's go ahead and do that right here. I've uninstalled them. So I'm going to need to reinstall them now. Um, what can I do? I'm just going to put C++ right there. And that should bring up the extensions that they mention in the, in the website. I'm going to want the C, C++. See, there's a, a bunch. Which one was it that we needed? Um, the one that they say is the Microsoft C, C, C++ IntelliSense Debugging and Code Browsing. So let's make sure we get that. It's this one right here. So I'm going to install it. Okay, installed. Great. What does it say? Let's do this now. We're going to need a terminal. So open a terminal. Um, you know what? If you don't know how to open a terminal, we're going to go launch pad. Uh, I'm just going to type terminal. Terminal. There we go. And it says type clang mm, space minus minus version to ensure that you have a Clang of some kind installed. If you don't, do this. Uh, Xcode select minus minus install. That should install it for you. OK, now they tell us, let's do this. So let's, let's follow the directions. Um, although we're going to be sad face because it's, it's just not going to work. Um, let's see here. Where am I at? OK, let's make a directory, 165. And I'm just doing that on the command line here. You can use Finder for this or whatever. I'm going to go into that directory. OK, this is where they have projects. I've called it ITP165. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, yeah, let's make a new directory, mkdir, hello. Yeah, hello world and cd to hello world. And now they say go code dot. Cool, but no, <laughs> that's not going to happen. That's not going to work. OK, let's uh, instead open Visual Studio Code. And we're going to go to this little tab here, the Explorer, and we're going to try to open a folder. We'll open the folder that I just created. Come on. Hello world. I'm going to open the Hello World folder I just created. It was empty, but yes, I trust the authors. OK, here we are. Um, it's empty. There's, there's nothing in this folder. Let's create now a new file. Well, hold on. Let's go back to the instructions now that we got it open. So they say, yeah, add a new source file. So select the New File button and name the file Hello World. Let's do it. So. Uh, there's a new file right there. Hello world.cpp. Definitely make sure it's called .cpp. Go. Uh huh. And this is where we want it to be. Create the file. All right. Now it's going to say, hey, you want some like extensions? Hmm. I kind of do. Let's try without. Let's see how far we can go without. Pound include, that's nah, not a pound. Pound include IO stream int main C out hello world return zero. Okay, looks good. And you may have noticed there were even some red lines um, coming along. For example, Hey, I don't know what IOStream X is, but I know what IOStream is. Um, that indicates things seem to be working. 
So we're in good shape here. Um, next up, you know, make some source code. We did that. Save it. Did I save it yet? Saved. Okay. Saved. Uh, and then it's explore. Let's run it. Let's run it. Okay. We're going to use Clang, but we're going to definitely use Clang++. plus plus. This is one of the main mistakes I have made on many of my iterations here. Let's run it. And then this thing pops up and make sure you choose Clang++. A lot of times I've been getting the option that of Clang or Clang++. We want Clang++. Choose that. And you see build finished successfully. And then, boom, it runs. The output comes on the tab, not on the output tab not on the terminal tab. The output comes on the debug console tab. Awesome. Part one completed. All right, let's get some input. See out. What is your name? All right, and then we're going to go std string name std cn name std c out your oh, I'm gonna say hello hello comma name backslash n and I missed a slashy slashy right there okay that looks right and I should include string you'll notice it wasn't required but it's kind of required. All right, save that. And we're going to run it again. We built it. It's building. It built. Did it run? Debug console. Hey, there it is. Hello, world. What is your name? Matt. Enter. And fail. And it failed. Uh, okay, we're yeah, that's not good. So what can we do? Um, let's go ahead and stop that. All right, here's the next step. We need to configure this thing to run in an external terminal. We need to have it pop a little window that we can interact with instead of trying to interact through here. Launch.json. We don't have a launch.json. Um, we can make one. How do we make one? Yeah, did that make one? That did. OK. <laughs> so how did I make that? I come over here, and then I hit the little, um, stop that. I hit the little button. I chose Clang again, and then that created the launch.json. And now we'll see external console is false. No, it's not. It's true. That's true now. And now I'm going to go back to my hello world. I'm going to hit play. It's building. And boom. Hey, look what look what has happened. It popped this open. What is your name? Matt. Enter. Hello, Matt. It has exited and completed. And we can close that. And we're good to go. OK, so I got my Visual Studio code set up installed, I can compile, I can run, and with this last thing, I was able to get it to, um, to give me a C in on the, on the terminal. But yeah, let's, let's reproduce the whole process from scratch. Um, I'm going to do file, close folder, I'm going to start over, start over from here. Uh, okay, let's minimize that. Let's use, let's use Finder to go to where I was at. Uh, I made a folder called ITP165. There we go. Made this folder, made hello world. And here's some stuff that got made. Let's just delete it all. Let's start over. We're going to go again. OK, so I made a folder, an empty folder I want to work in. I'm going to go to Visual Studio. I'm going to new file to create myself Hello world CPP. 
And it's going to say, where do you want it at? I want it in this special folder. Each time you make a new program, let's put it in a new folder. All right, we're going to pop that open. Do your thing. Learn to type. My goodness, learn to type. Okay. Uh, that's good enough for now. And then let's choose the drop down. Uh, we'll do run. When we get options, make sure you hit CC++, Clang++. If you get other options, don't hit those. Make sure it's not Clang, but Clang++. That'll run your very first program. Your output comes to debug console, but we don't want that. We want, why am I not seeing my explorer? You have not yet opened a folder, OK. I thought I did. Let's open the folder. Okay, there we go. And now I've got a launch. I've got this launch JSON. If for some reason you don't have a launch JSON, let's delete it and then let's figure out a way to remake it. We're going to come up here and we're going to choose that. It remade it for you in the launch JSON. External console. True. Save. And we shall run. Pow. Here we are. OK. All right, gang, that should get us started. Um, I'm going to do another one where I show Replit. And also, I want to talk about one main per project. One main per project. Otherwise, it's going to get very confused. OK, I will see you guys the next time.